What Friends Are For by Julia Hubri, illustrated by Caroline Pedler. That's what friends are for. I love, love, love my new sweater. Sang little bear dancing around the room. It's the best sweater ever. I needed it just for you. Mommy said smiling. So there's love in every stitch. Wow, thank you, said Little Bear. I'll show Molly and Rabbit and everybody. And he raced off. Molly, 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 he called Little Bear. Oh dear, nobody's home, he sighed. But what was that icky squeaky noise in the bushes? It was Molly. Help! He squeaked. I was picking blackberries and I got stuck in their, their pesky prickles. I'll help you out, said Little Bear. And with a wriggle, a jiggle, and a tug, Molly was safe and sound. But Little Bear's sweater wasn't. It was icky with blackberry blotches and the prickles had torn a hole. My new sweater, cried Little Bear. My mommy made it for me. Don't worry, little bear, said Molly. We can watch it in the stream. Come on. As they hurried along, they heard a huffing and puffing in Rabbit's garden. Little bear, help, called Rabbit. My daddy grew a monster carrot, but it just won't come up. Let's all pull together, said little bear. One, two, three, give! went the carrot and splat went the ferns as they plopped on their bottoms in the mud. Little bear, you're a mud monster! Left rabbit. Oh no, said Molly. That's little bear's new sweater. His mommy made it with love in every stitch. Sniffed little bear. We can clean it, said rabbit, and they rushed to the stream. Together they rubbed and scrubbed and squeezed and squeezed. Then they hang the soggy sweater up to dry in the sun. Oh, said Little Bear when he put it on. It's stretched. Molly nodded. Maybe we should go home before anything else happens to it. But as the three friends set off, they saw something dangling in the tree. Help! cried Mouse. I'm stuck. The wind blew me up with my kite. It's so high and I'm scared. Hang on, Mouse, yelled Little Bear. I'm coming. Little Bear scrambled up, 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 and higher and higher and helped Mouse safely onto a branch. Thank you, Little Bear, said Mouse. You're a hero, but it's such a long climb down. Just hold on to me, said Little Bear, and he climbed down to the lowest branch, and he wriggled out of his sweater. Whee! Little Bear and Mouse floated to the ground. You did it, shouted Rabbit. That was very brave, Little Bear. But my poor sweater, it's ruined, cried Little Bear. What will your mommy say? Gasped Molly. She'll be so sad, that Little Bear, as he plodded slowly home in his bag, saggy baggy sweater. I'm sorry, sub, sub Little Bear, when he saw mommy. I ruined my full of love sweater. I didn't mean to. I know, darling, said mommy. Daddy Rabbit has told me all about your adventures today. What a kind and helpful friend you've been. I will knit another sweater full of love for my wonderful, brave little bear. The end. Bye!